close your eyes, see yourself sitting here, feet on the floor, back against the chair. We're going to turn ourselves into a tree. With that, we're going to grow our roots down, we're going to push them through the earth, push them down to the floors, through the basements, until we reach the soil far beneath us. And push it down further through the soil, around the rocks, around the gravel. Push it down around the boulders till we come at last to the bedrock far, far below the earth. As we reach the bedrock, search around and find that pool of crisp, cool water far beneath the earth. And when you find that water, dip your branches, sorry, dip your roots into it. Start drinking that water up. With each and every breath, we're going to pull the waters of chaos up through our roots, bring them up and into our bodies. So with each and every breath, see that water come up further and further. Bring that water up and into our feet, and into our legs. Feel this cool water come on up through our legs and into our loins and into our bellies. Feel that crisp, cool water come up with each and every breath into our bellies, into our chest. Feel this cool water filling you up as you bring it further up and into your heads. Then with the next breath, you bring it up even further and comes out of your heads and out of your hands, flowing back into the earth. As you breathe and keep pulling this water up, feel it running through your body. Feel it filling you with the energies from below. And now we turn our focus upwards. We grow our branches up, grow them up through the ceilings, up through the roofs, up high into the skies, through the clouds if there are any, and bring our branches up until we can find that one star directly above our heads. We're going to reach up to that star. We're going to pull the fires from above and bring them down. So with each and every breath, like we did with the waters, we're going to pull these fires down a few of them come down and warm up our hands and warm up our heads fires of water as they come into our body bring them further and further down with each and every breath feel them in your chest and in your belly as you look at yourself see yourself glowing with the waters from below and the fires from above bring the fires down further into your loins and into your legs so at last, your next breath, you bring the fires down into your feet and you are completely glowing from the fires above and the waters below running throughout your body. Drink deeply of these powers, order and chaos, the raw materials of potential. Breathe deeply of them, bring them into you. Take all that you need out of them to bring yourself back to your normal self and take a tiny bit more and top yourself off just a little bit. And when you're ready, push the water back down into the ground. Push the fires back up into the sky. And know if you ever need to pull on these powers ever again, you can always reach down, you can always reach up. But for now, bring your roots in, bring your branches in. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, prepare for the ritual. Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. Without you, we would not survive. Without you, we would not be here. You as food, you as shelter. For all that you do for us, we honor you first. We say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Next, we have our house. Mighty well, you run deep into the earth. You are at the roots of the world tree. You are in the lands of the ancestors. To you, we bring the silver, 
and we see sacred waters flow within us. With a mighty fire, you burn and you transform. And you send all our, of our offerings up high into the sky to lands of the shining ones. To you, we make this offering of incense. You say sacred fires burn within us. The mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the lands of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, to the lands of the shining ones. You can water from the well and incense from the fire. You say sacred tree grow within us. In each and every one of our homes, by the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Now, I'm sorry, I did not mean to get you. So we now call on the gatekeeper. Mighty gatekeeper, we call on you who have aided us many times in the past. We call on you once more to aid us, to open the ways between the worlds. We call to you to guide us on your path so may we, we may walk in safety. We ask that you take our messages far and wide, that you bring back to us all that we need to hear. With all these, we ask, keep, keep us all, accept our offerings. And now, gatekeep us all in each and every one of our homes. Join your magic with ours and let the fires open as gates to the upper worlds. Let the wells open as gates to the underworld. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds. Open to our voices and open to our spirits. Let the gates be opened. Now we are between the worlds. The first thing we offer to you will be the ancestors. By the ancestors, you have come before us. We call to all of you of our kin, our family that have come before. We call to all of you of this very earth, you who are here long before us. We call to all of you who we have chosen as family, our inspiration, our mentors. We call to you and ask you to join us by our fires tonight. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Next, call on the land spirits. To all of you of fur and feather, scale and skin, we call to you. We call to you all of those of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kit. We call to you all of those that are unseen, the house spirits, the land spirits, and all those who enrich our day but are unseen by us. We call to all of you and ask you to come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And last but not least, we call to the shining ones. We call to all those we call our patrons and matrons. We call to all of those of this very place that watch over us. We call to all of those that are unknown to us and yet those who watch over us. To all of you mighty shining ones, we call and we ask that you come and join us at our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. At this moment, if there are any offerings to be made, please feel free to make them. Mighty kindred, Watch over our country. Watch over England too. All those countries going through this 
these divisive times. May we as a country come out stronger and better in the end. Okay, Lord, watch over our country, provide us safety. How you can accept our offerings. Now, mighty kindred, we have given to you, and we have come here asking for blessings. So we give to you one last time, and with this we ask that we receive blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And mighty kindred, we now ask, what blessings do we receive? The ancestors. The ancestors give us Gabo, the ruin of partnership. Gifts and reciprocity. And the land spirit. <laughs> they give us the era, the rune of cycles, the rune of harvest. It's shiny ones. The shiny ones give us a was the horse, spiritual journey, spiritual work. <laughs> Work with your ancestors. Work with the land. By, and by doing so, your spirituality will come about. Your spirituality will be fulfilled. I think these are good omens. Do we accept these omens? Therefore, Mighty kindred, we have given to you. We have asked for blessings to return. The blessings received have been Gabo, Yara, and Aos. We ask you to fill our waters with these blessings so we may drink them down. Mighty kindred, fill our waters. Behold, the waters of life. Now let's take all those who have aided us. Shining ones, be your patrons and matrons. Be of this place or be you unknown to us. For all that you do for us, shining ones, we thank you. And land spirits, be your animal kin, be your plant kin, or be your unseen kin. For all that you do for us, Ancestors, we thank you. And ancestors, be you our family. Be you of this place, or be you chosen family. For all that you do for us, ancestors, we thank you. Gatekeepers, all you have aided us once more. You have taken our messages far and wide. You have brought back what we need to hear. For all that you have done for us tonight. And all you keep on doing for us throughout the years. <sighs> Gatekeepers all, we thank you. Yes, you now once more join your magic stars. The fire become but flame, but the water become but water. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Last but not least, Earth Mother, we honor you first. And we thank you last. You're first in our minds and you're last in our minds. For without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this right has ended.